Let's see another theorem on circle. This theorem, which is basically theorem number five, says that if there are three non collinear points, only one circle can pass through these three points. Let me give you two examples. Suppose you had a point, let's say A. Now tell me how many circles can pass through this point? One, two, three, four, five, there can be unlimited number of circles through one point. What happens if you increase these to two? Of course, you can have this circle. You can have this another circle. Okay, so there can be more than one circle which can pass through both these lines. Both these points actually. Suppose you had third circle. So there can be larger number of circle. Now what you are given here is that you have three points. Three non-collinear points. Non-collinear would mean these are not forming part of any particular line. Let's say this is, let's call this point as P, Q and R. Okay. Now you have to find out as to how many circles pass through these points. So what do we do? We we'll first form a straight line from P to Q. We we'll draw a line from Q to R. So draw PQ and QR. Now what we do is let's draw perpendicular bisectors of these two lines. So let's call the PQ so we draw a perpendicular bisector of QR okay and we also draw a perpendicular bisector of PQ. Now both these bisectors intersect at a particular point. Let's call this point as point O. Right? Now if you recall the property of perpendicular bisector is of a particular line is that if suppose you have a perpendicular bisector then at every point on that perpendicular bisector let's say you take this this point will be equidistant from Q and R. So what it means is that if you draw a line OP and OQ, OP will be equal to OQ. Why? Because equidistant from perpendicular bisector. Right? Similarly, When I look at QR, this point O, which is intersecting, let me use a different color. OQ will be equal to OR. Why? Because again, these points lie on the perpendicular bisector of QR. But what we saw here was that OQ is common in both the case. And hence we can say that OP is equal to OQ is equal to OR. So this gives me the plot, the perfect plot for drawing a circle because these three can be taken as three arms of the circle and I can use this to draw a circle such that I cover all these three points. This actually might not look like a circle because I haven't taken approximations but when you use your geometry boxes this will be a circle only. Okay.
So there is a circle which passes through these two lines. Now, if you remember, the rule was that the perpendicular bisector of these two lines can intersect only at one point. So nowhere else will you have a situation where you have OP equals to OQ. So there is only one circle that one can draw with radius OP. Right? And therefore there has to be a unique circle passing through the three points P, Q and R. Right? I mean if you take a point here, even though OP will be OQ equal to OQ on this circle, you can't have this length which is, let's say this was O1, you can't have O1R equals to OPQ. Why? Because there is no equidistance formula which will apply here. The lengths are going to be dissimilar. So hence there can be only one and one circle which can pass through three given non-collinear points. 